All right, I've been waiting all day to catch out. It'll probably be nighttime for our catch out, so the riding, the first few riding scenes might be at night, but I'll I'll shine my flashlight down at the axles and the grainer and behind me or boxcar or tanker or whatever I'm behind. And uh, then it'll start out, you'll see a bunch of tunnels on this route a lot of tunnels this is going across the Appalachian Mountains and the Appalachian Trail during the daytime through Alta Pass and Spruce Pine Virginia all the way down the mountains so it's beautiful across the Smoky uh, Great Smoky Mountains so stay tuned uh, it'll probably be night before I catch out so the first couple of scenes might be at dark but then after that, it'll all be in the day. So after about three minutes, it'll be all daytime, beautiful pictures. Hope you enjoy. We're gone.
Well, we're in Spruce Pine, North Carolina. Spruce Pine. I'm glad it was a slow ride. That gives me some daytime to video. We're about 3,200 foot up. More than, more than twice the elevation of Johnson City and Kingsport. Got my good seat all hid in between this V.
good as that.
to go down a little bit.
this is the longest one of them all. Horseshoe too. Horseshoe curve. good engineer hadn't got yanked one time coming.
getting cold. Yeah, this one's not as long. But it sure is narrow.
straight. No tunnel with that other line over there. There's no double line tunnel here.
stop and run an emergency stop. We just went into emergency. But he could have reset the emergency brake. Sometimes that fixes the problem. If the air is not if the air pressure is not continuous all the way to the back, they'll shut that emergency brake off and they'll turn it back on real quick. Sometimes that'll push a surge of air through the pipe, through the hoses, and that'll fix some diaphragms. Those diaphragms are in them reservoirs. Sometimes they get stuck. And if you push a surge of air through there with the emergency brake valve, it'll fix it. So that must be what they did, because... Look at all them white flowers. dirty this drainer is just be glad it's dry when that stuff's wet it's rotten it smells worse than a dead animal but right now it's organic so I just swept it aside last night and slept out
hadn't hardly been yanked at all. And we're on the very end. About 110 cars long. Until we get off, we got about another mile. Well, I thought I was going to turn the camera off until we stopped, but yeah, these box cars were here last time I was here about six weeks ago. Well, when I was on my way to Charlotte. Uh, yeah, about six weeks ago when I went to Alaska. They're all loaded. Come on, baby. Go a little further. I don't feel like walking two miles to get out of the yard. Then it's another four miles to the store you guys remember Rube Clayton right rambling Rube Clayton with the tattoos all over at the end of my one video about two months ago he lives about 20 miles from here I'm gonna see if he can't drive out and us have a campfire and sit around and talk Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. There ain't too much interesting going on right here until we get ready to stop. But, well, we're getting close to stopping.
Maybe we'll get to the end of these cars and then stop. I better get my gear ready. Well, that was a good ride while it lasted. We stopped a little further out than I thought. That's all right. I'll get over there and walk on that access road. Be a little safer than this main. Well, it's a, not a main, but it's a pull out out of the yard. Yeah, that's the car I rode there. Sorry about my finger in the way again. Holding it with my left hand, which is right over the lens. This train so long, he may be at the crew change office. That's why I'm getting off. I don't want a chance on him pulling up anymore and just keep pulling up and going all the way to Charlotte or Spartanburg. It's probably Spartanburg with all this grain. Man, there's a big double barrel hole grainer there. Dang, a whole cooler in there. You know what? I'm gonna cross over. There ain't no sense in getting run over. Somebody went a long ways. Filled that cooler up with water. Probably ice and beer too. Back in the day, that's what I'd have done. Yeah, only thing is, these workers here aren't quite familiar with me. These cars ain't going anywhere, that's why I don't mind setting my gear underneath. These cars ain't moved in six weeks. Alright, give me a minute and I'll get going again. Gotta interlock my fingers around that bottle and the bucket. <clears throat> Alright. Plenty of camp spots. Boy, all these are double barrel. Not all of them, but... Well, somebody showed me how to turn my camera on UHD 60 instead of 30 so we'll see how this comes out when i upload it see now that one's got a deep b in it to hide but it's more narrow you always got to sacrifice something good uh or i'm sorry you ought to got you always got to sacrifice something bad for something good Like that V in that grain is real deep, good to hide in, but it's narrow and tight. Yeah, we're still about a mile and a half out from the yard exit where you can get off property. But the terrain flattens out up here. I can hide in the woods better. 
it's where I slept in the rain that last time, well, time before last when I got soaked. Yeah, there's that, them trees. We ain't far. That second telephone pole. Putting one foot down in front of the other with a bucket and a gallon of water in a backpack. I'm gonna sit over here in the weeds and wait for Rube's response. See, he already crew changed. That was quick. Had I gotten not stayed on him to try to make a few more feet, save a walk. That had been my demise. I'd have ended up another 60 miles in Spartanburg or another 100 in Charlotte. Let's see where I can sit without getting eat up by ticks and chiggers. I got a couple of chigger bites down in Fulton on my last ride out of Illinois and a few tick bites, but I didn't find any ticks on me. Oh man, I gotta put this down, that's heavy. Whew. Try carrying that with three fingers, two fingers and a thumb. Well, I'm gonna turn this off till I find a spot. Ah.